Hey, Mr. Parker here to review a new one from Arrow Films, Arrow Blu-ray, Chud. Chud's a 1983 cult classic. We all know Chud. We all, I wouldn't say love Chud, but we all know of Chud. Uh, Chud definitely has a cult following. It was referenced in Simpsons, so it has a, a bit of a, a history, I must say. Uh, essentially, Chud follows the story of uh, three people that kind of discover that there's these monsters being created in the New York sewer system that are pretty much feeding on homeless people and start to come up and pull other people underneath. Uh, <clears throat> government wants to kind of cover it up, but everything blow, uh, blows over and everything kind of gets to the surface. <clears throat> uh this movie really is notable for uh, a lot of the references and uh, how ridiculous the whole thing is, but it's played mostly straight, mostly. Uh, and it also has an amazingly good cast, uh, John Hurd, Daniel Stern, Christopher Curry, all do a great job. Uh, a lot of side characters and small roles uh, with like John Goodman and John Pilato in there, which is very impressive. Uh, I must say that <clears throat> I had a little bit of nostalgia for Chud. I grew up watching Chud. Uh, always kind of enjoyed it. Love the cover art. They're not staying down there anymore. Just, uh, it was something that, uh, you know, spoke to me as a kid. Uh, actually, I liked the sequel even more. I was younger, and it's even, it's, it's a ridiculous, stupid movie. So I always loved that one. And, uh, later on, a lot of people would hate on Chud. They disliked Chud. They say it was overrated. And I, I will admit, Chud's probably a little overrated just because it's got so much exposure and uh, people just love it blindly, if, even if they don't remember it. Uh, but re-watching it, you know, I realized I still enjoy the movie. It had been a very long time since I watched it. But uh, yeah, still dug it. And uh, essentially, uh, the Arrow Blu-ray release, uh, it looks pretty good. I think a lot of the day stuff looks a little soft, but the stuff in the sewer looks top-notch. Uh, John Hurd, Daniel Stern, Christopher Curry are still good and it. Everything still holds up in the acting department. I think it's actually... Way better acted than it should have been. The special effects are actually really good too, except that the chuds aren't shown as much as they should be. Uh, the concept is an amazing one. Uh, these kind of monsters under the sewer, I just love it. Uh, it was done better in the movie Alligator around the same time, 1980. But uh, this is a concept that doesn't fully live up to its potential. Uh, I think that... Really, people would have loved to see the Chuds more on the streets. It was a low-budget film, so I understand that. Uh, the score is uh, is unique and different and kind of uh, pounding, and I, I enjoy it. They also has a sad uh, theme in there that I enjoy as well. Uh, the Blu-ray has a, a new uh, kind of interview commentary with the band who made the score, uh, with Michael Felsher narrating. Uh, it has... Um, all the stuff ported over from the old uh, DVD from Anchor Bay, including the hilarious commentary with the writer, director, and uh, the three main stars, uh, basically making a mockery and a goof of the whole thing, and they're very entertaining. <clears throat> Also has a deleted scene, and this uh, Arrow release actually comes with the theatrical version and uh, and the uh, integral version. The integral version is definitely the one I prefer because it has the Goodman uh, diner scene where it should be in the middle instead of the end. I think the end tacked on was kind of uh, pointless for this type of movie. But uh, I think that if you guys like Chud, uh, you guys should check out the Blu-ray. It is definitely an improvement, and uh, I understand that it has a lot of hate and a lot of love. Uh, I'm definitely in more in the love camp of Chud. Uh, like I said, I love the special effects. I love the acting. Uh, I do realize there's a lot of dumb things in there that just probably don't really work. <coughs> And just small things, like uh, there's a moment when a character just gets pushed on the ground and they just kind of disappear after that without much explanation. Like the concept should have been, it's just definitely one with one of the better concepts uh, that I just wish was fleshed out more. And I know we got a sequel to it, but that concept was completely wrong for the sequel, even though I love that movie. But uh, yeah, I, I enjoy this release. I think they did a good job with it. Uh, there's, there's some new interviews as well with the designers in the movie and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, I'm a Chud fan and I'm an Arrow fan. And I think they did Chud justice. All those years of Criterion joking around, they're going to finally release it on Blu-ray. But hey, we actually got one. Uh, I'm Mr. Parker. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one. We're lost, Art. We're lost. Ten, twelve of my regulars. They come up here for soup every day. Those are the people that disappeared. Parker? Parker? Parker! Why are you putting makeup on your ass? Because <laughs> it's where the pimple is. Hey, that's breaking and entering. You're...
Under arrest, Shepard. There's John Lloyd, yeah. John Bedford Lloyd. John Bedford Lloyd. He eats the yeah. dime. It's great. I, I love, love that. that. He really did it, too. Yeah. I love the expression on Guy your face. Guy was shit nickels for yeah. a week. <laughs> <laughs> We thought we were the, we were the we bosses, yeah, yeah, and we could do it. So I think that would be very different. I haven't done, you know, a lot of scores since. Just south of Broom Street, which is where the iconic shot of Flora Bosch and her little dog too are dragged down into the manhole by a chud in the opening scene. Cannibalistic, humanoid, underground dwellers. Chud. <laughs>